Welcome to the introduction to managerial finance video tutorials. In this section, we are going to go through an overview of the most important activity ratios. Activity ratios measure the speed with which accounts are converted to sales or cash. The first ratio we will look at is the inventory turnover ratio. This ratio measures the activity or liquidity of a firm's inventory. It is calculated by dividing cost of sales with the inventory balance. In our example, we have cost of goods sold worth 4.5 million divided by the inventory of 600,000. This gives us an inventory turnover of 7.5 times per year. This means that we have had to replenish our stock 7.5 times in the past year. This ratio is particularly useful when comparing to other companies in the same industry. And each industry would most likely have its distinctive inventory turnover. For example, retailing companies will have a high inventory turnover, while luxury goods companies will generally have a low inventory turnover. This ratio can easily be converted into the average age of the inventory by dividing it into 360, which is the number of days in a year. In our example, we would divide 360 by 7.5, yielding 48 days. This value can be viewed as the average number of days it takes to sell all your inventory. The next ratio we will look at is the average collection period. It measures the average amount of time in days needed to collect accounts receivables or debtors. It is calculated by dividing accounts receivables with the average sales per day. In our example, we have accounts receivables of 900,000 divided by the sales of 9 million divided by 360. This gives us 36 days. This means that it takes the company an average 36 days to collect cash from its debtors. This value is useful when comparing it to the internal credit terms offered to debtors and the average payment period of the company. The last activity ratio we will look at is the average payment period. It measures the average amount of time in days needed to pay creditors. It is calculated by dividing accounts payable with the average purchases per day. In our example, we have accounts payable of 1.2 million divided by the purchases of 4.4 million divided by 360. This gives us 98 days. This means that it takes the company an average of 98 days to pay its creditors. This ratio is useful when compared to the average collection period and the payment terms extended to us by our creditors. Ideally, we want to pay creditors as late as possible without affecting the relationship negatively.